There we go. There we go. Easy. We're on. There we're on. Welcome. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, post get, your wall. Get it on Bebo. Get out of the way early. Put, do, done on it. Your, put it on your MySpace wall. Just go, oh, God, this, this amazing podcast episode. Like, it is you incredible. know, I know it's not started yet, but just tell people. That's how it works. Okay? Do you know, like, apparently, the best way to grow a podcast is to get guests on? Yeah. Oh, we haven't got any friends. We ain't got no one that's going to come on it, so you have to please do what you can and yeah. share it with people. Of course, of course that's it why is. I decided, look, we've put it on YouTube now, so you can watch this on yes. YouTube. We're waving at everyone on YouTube. Right? Oh, yeah. If you are um, uh, listening to this on easy podcast... Easy to share on YouTube as well, because yeah. you just go, here's share. the link, copy and paste. Yeah. You know, you can have it on in the background while you're pretending to work, pretending to take over the world, if you have, if you have Vladimir Putin. Oh, you, know? you say that. You say that, but... You just, uh, you know... I've had a call. Sure. Sure. Already. Yeah. sure. Oh, Mike, Secretary, Secretary of Defence here. Yeah. Ah, how you doing, mate? How you doing? Off. How you doing, boy? Good, yeah. to, good to hear from you. How you doing? Good to hear from you again. Life, so what's, you what's, what's yeah, <laughs> what's, what's get, yeah, she has left him. Yeah. What's going on? Vlad's kicking off again. Oh, Putin. Oh, not Vlad. I've told you. I've told you about him. Told you. Yeah. Told you. When he, told you. You can tell when he's lying. His lips are moving. His lips are moving. So. But uh, yeah, I said. Just, look, I know. I'm outside of my. Uh, Reserve service for the military because it's uh, six years post leaving that you're supposed to do. But I said, look, drop the hint. I said, drop the hint to uh, to Vlad that I'm willing and able. And he, he's come back and he said, it, there's there's only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> like, there's only one thing that will step. Call him yeah. to step down, isn't it? There's yeah. One thing. What the, was the, it? That's what they said. <laughs> what was it? That's what they said. <laughs> what was it? You come back. Me come back. Yeah. yeah. So Mike. <laughs> So he he one thing there's only one thing in, Putin, yeah, in the world that scares world. him, yeah. yeah. That's it, he Mike said. Harrison. And then he said, we just can't do it. <laughs> It'd be like that scene in Star Wars where he just... Like, I don't want Star Wars. Of course like. you don't, yeah. No. But where um, Obi-Wan Obi 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 Kenobi just steps forward and they just, they just rain down all these bombs on him. It's basically just a mirage. That's, oh. that's all it needs, it's just a mirage of you and it's scary. That's what it would be. It wouldn't seem to come in. Nah, it wouldn't. That's the thing. I mean... If only people knew that the real way to protect Ukraine was just to send you over. Send me On holiday. Yeah, that's all it would need. There you go. Listen, I'm fluent in Russian. Ready? Yes, 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 I'm sure that's racist in some way. Yeah. What does that mean? Sneakers, but yes, Sounds like you're rewinding normal voice. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You sound more like poor rat. Say potato, potato. That's not racist. Can't say that. This, well, it's, that, it's regional. If I was to do a, yeah. a, a Scouse accent, which sounds nothing like that, yeah. but if I was, it's regional. Yeah, regional. Or uh, Birmingham. Yeah. Right. Let's go to the fucking garrison. That's Arthur from Peaky Blinders. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't watch it. You don't watch it? I've seen it. Oh, because I, uh, I can do Tommy as well. Is it? Is it peace or is it war? <laughs> there you go. See? <laughs> There you go. All of those Peaky Blinders fans going, fucking hell, they've got Killian Murphy on it. Uh, it's yeah. not. It's me. Which we did have. Yeah. Might get more, might get more, more guests. There. <laughs> yeah. That, that's it. Like, with podcasts, everybody, like, all the best podcasts, they have guests on because it then it draws a new audience. Mm. Whereas we're very um, unsociable. And we have no audience. And we've, so. got, no, <laughs> we've got no audience. <laughs> we're fucked. So, yeah, do you want to come on the podcast? We get about 40 views. So, yeah. Come on. Um, just, just so we can share it with your followers and make us look better. Mm. So if you know of anyone that will have us on... Actually... I'm going to check how many views the podcast has had. Until you should, until you should get on is Jamie Alderton. That would, that would boost the views, <laughs> wouldn't it? Because he wouldn't even have to speak sense then, either. <laughs> you could just say random like words. Normal. <laughs> like normal. Just random words in any order. Um, nah, but as, long you, as, a, as long as the camera is close to your face and there's a microphone in shot... Ah, love you, Jamie. It, it comes me. across as... Yeah. It's all good. It's all good banter. Anyway, um, <laughs> today what we're we talking about... Weekly structure. Yeah, so we got our little... Uh, We've got our first weekly call with our, our coaches that we coach. That is not, that is right, coaches that we coach. So we obviously, as online coaches, we coach other online coaches and other PTs who want to obviously feel incredible about themselves, get better body, better physique, have the accountability and not stress about their own shit. Yeah. We also then help them become better coaches themselves with their own clients, et cetera, et cetera. And we got our first call with them today as a group. Um, and that is uh, all about, yeah, weekly structure and planning your week out. And I think there's a lot of... Um, a lot of chat about that sort of shit online, isn't there? Like, oh, morning, morning routines and structuring out your week and all that sort of stuff. And I think years ago we'd have gone, oh, yeah, a load of bullshit. Certainly still about the morning routines. I'm not down with that yet. 
Cold um, shower. But Cold in dip. terms of, uh, yeah, always going to the sea. Well, I don't live close enough to the sea, so yeah. waste of time. You do now, though. <laughs> so. nah, it's still not close enough, though, is it? No. It's still, it's still only 20 minute drive. Plus, it's warm here, so jokes on stuff. you. Yeah, it's like, mm. might as well just get a bath. Yeah. Um, benefits are ruined then. Isn't yeah. It? It's got to be cold. There are no benefits. It's just got, about that. It's just got to be cold. So, it is a waste yeah. of time. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right. It yeah, is a waste of no, time. No, it is a waste of yeah. time. Um, <laughs> 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 He's cracking up. He's cracking up. I'm loving up. it. <laughs> it. Um, you lost what I was going to say there. Anyway, yeah, so we're talking about weekly structure and like, it's something that I think before. We, we sort of like used to sort of turn our nose apart a little bit. And I think it's one of those things where if you're not managing it properly, it does just run away with you. And I think people who think they procrastinate or they think that they are busy and they're not, if you actually kind of try and actually work out the amount of hours you spend doing certain things and all that sort of stuff. So we're doing that with them. And so we thought we'd talk about the podcast about weekly structure and why things maybe not growing if you're an online coach, maybe why you're not growing at the rate you want to grow and all this sort of stuff. And you might hear people talk about like spending time working on the business versus like in the business and all this sort of stuff. But it also comes from, um, also works well for normal people who have jobs, for example. And again, it's working at how much time you actually spend doing your job versus how much time you have free to yourself to do other things you want. And I think a lot of people spend so much time working and they moan they don't really have much time to do other things or they don't have much time to see friends and family and then I think it's because they don't spend time breaking down those hours and working out when they should or shouldn't be working or when they should or shouldn't be doing certain things and I think it requires a certain element of having boundaries maybe for for want of a better term I suppose Um, and things like that and I think it's something that online coaches struggle with because I think a lot of online coaches think they're very very busy but it's just because they're always on their phone or whatever, but they're not actually spending much quality time focused on the work they should be focused on. There we go. Stop you there. It's taken me a good five minutes to, to get this. Have a guess how many all-time downloads that you think we've had. Not a lot. Well, a thousand. Bonus. Thousand. That's how many you think we've had. Well, if I tell you we've had nearly seventeen hundred in the last thirty days. Well, ah, it's just part. Of, it's just what we're doing. We've had fourteen point eight thousand downloads. That's not bad. 10,000 is me. I did it. I just kept pressing uh, Yeah, I think that's I, wrong. I kept just pressing download. Is that wrong? I just kept pressing download over yeah. and over again. Probably not. It's not that bad, is it? Thanks for, thanks for watching. We had 1,000 in the last yeah. 14 days. So 900. Take that, that. 49% up. Well, there you go. So. Wow. 49% up. That's what she What's said. that? as a percentage. 49%. Well, it's just said it. It is a percentage. Yeah. So there you go. Well, we want to get it higher, though. Let's come to 1,000. <laughs> Let's go on. Higher. 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 Yeah, higher. Always higher. Never lower. Always yeah. higher. Always higher. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so like, for example, like with, the, with this podcast and things like that, so, you know, we factor in certain days of our week for certain things, sure. for certain elements. So like, I think a lot of coaches, for example, and we're going to talk about coaches because that's who we work with the most. But I think if you're not an online coach and you work full time, you'll, you'll, also, you'll also take something from this because I think it's worth looking at, again, the jobs that you, the, the work roles you have within your job that you can break down into certain sections. Any for example. job, actor, any, bishop, any, what? anything. Why those two? What? Don't know. Don't know. Um, so, for example, like we have like designated check-in days where we just pretty much do check-ins. We don't do any other business work. We don't do any other work on other things. Any other business? Can I bring it up then? Can I bring it up then? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Um, we then have Sundays. We have Mondays. We do more business type work. We don't do any client check-ins. And I think you have to really segment your weeks in order to be at your best, in order to perform at your best, so that you can do what you need to do. No, oh, just that's it. Do what you need to do. Easy, J- Jamie Olderson again. As easy as that. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm known Jamie for. Really, yeah. saying things that make no sense. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, um, all the struggle, you're struggling to get on camera um, and film content for your fitness business, stop struggling. So, there you go. Just stop struggling and Just do stop it. it. So, there you go. <laughs> there you but go. no, so there you go. We'll actually give you some helpful advice for that. So, if that's you, right, you've got to then allot time in your calendar to do that and get better at it and all that sort of stuff. Because one of the best ways to improve on a skill is just to do it. Um, we talked about the golf analogy. I'm not going to keep going on fucking banging on about that. And getting better. But just with, for those who are interested in the update. With the camera thing, there's no point you spending two hours researching YouTube videos trying to find the best way to do it. Just fucking do it. Just go hit record, press the camera, whatever. But you have to allot time in your schedule. If you just add it to your to-do list and it's not factored into your week, it will not get done. It just won't because you'll leave it to the end. You'll do all your other stuff. You'll go, oh, my client work is more important. Oh, this is more important. Whereas if it's allotted into your schedule, two till four on Wednesday, I'm doing video content. It will get done. Well, the work. It's more likely to get done. The work fills the time, doesn't it? Yeah. What, was it? What, was it theory? What work. Was theory? Fi- work fills the time that you allot it. Who, who's Park? Parkinson's Park 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 Law. Park it's not Parkinson. It's not Parkinson. Not Parkinson. No. So you give me. Give me with Parkinson. It's not Parkinson's Law, is it? Uh, I can't remember. It what is. Is it, it Parkinson's Law? I don't know. 
I'm going to type in Parkinson's right. law. Right. Well, anyway. But essentially, if you if you if you've got a bit of work to do and you lock yourself four weeks to do it, it'll take four weeks. If you no, lock p- yourself, Parkinson's disease comes up. If, if you lock yourself a week to do it, it'll take you a week to do. Do you know? It's that whole thing of you'll just keep putting it off and putting it off. Um, it is Parkinson's law. It is Parkinson's law. Yeah. You're right. You are. You, you are, are right, mate. You so, are right. Saying, yeah. oh, sorry. P- Putin's quick in his boots. Look. Yeah. Look. Hey, he yeah. knows. Um, and it, and it's quite and obviously like you know if you've got to do a fucking forty thousand word essay in an hour you're not going to do it obviously right there's a certain element of that but it's this whole thing of set a realistic timeline and don't give yourself loads more time because it won't get done um, so we do it all the time with things we sit down and we go right we're gonna have this done so for example a playbook we're like right it's gonna be done by thirty first of Jan yeah we said was it thirty first of Jan yeah I think finish on the thirtieth so it's yeah fine. so it's one of those Room where yeah spare. we did but that's the thing you do go oh, okay we've got this 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 and to do. And you, if we if we'd have said do it till April, it would have been until the end of March when we right, we finally finished it. Yeah. It's just the way it works. These things happen, and this is about as guru as we all fucking get. I reckon. No, this is better. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Give a man a fishing rod, he'll eat for life. There you go, Jamie Allerton. Cheers, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Give a man a sea, and he'll dip in it. Yeah, and not fishing. That's it. it. He'll dip you know. in it. That's just one of the things, one of the many things that's in my head. There, that's so. good, that, yeah. You should probably just press record and... Oh, it is recording. It is recording. There's not a microphone in front of you your face, though, so it doesn't count. So no, we'll do it no. Again. We'll do it again. But, um, yeah, anyway, so we've just been, like, we put together a little planner and all that sort of stuff, and I think the, one of the problems people have with, the, like, the planning out their week and thinking about their, their structure is that they think they have to stick to it diligently. And it's more a case <laughs> of, again, it's like we say with, with clients with their diets, right? Yeah, you can plan for the perfect week, but it's not going to happen that way. You're going to have to move and adapt things. It's more that you have an original plan to stick to that you can then be flexible with rather than having no fucking plan at all and then you never fit any of it in at all. Never do yeah. anything. You'd be surprised. Like, with client updates, and again, it's, it's not just online coaches. It's, it's everybody. The amount of people that go, oh, I just didn't have time to do this or I didn't get my steps or I didn't get, uh, get all my cardio in. Well, you did last week. Like, so, why, why haven't you this week then? It's, it's like a planning, and that, that's all it is. It's like a planning, or you're lazy, or whatever, because it's, you obviously showed last week that it wasn't impossible. And you get that, that the further into coaching that people tend to go as well, is that, that those things start slacking off because they're not as motivated, and, you know, they're, they're not as fresh into coaching. It's not new anymore. And all of a sudden, their capabilities become less. And there's a little bit of, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. But there wasn't any of that at the start. So why is there now? It's because you were allowing that. <clears throat> and, and, and getting the structure for your week is vitally important. Again, we, me and Dan have... I say me and Dan, I'm, I'm talking to you, Dan. You are Dan. Hi. You are Dan. I'm Dan. We have so, I'm going to talk to you like I'm talking to you, not the audience, because that's the better way to do it. <laughs> but we have, we have so much... Um, but you can listen, audience. You can listen. You know. um, hi, Mum. in. Yeah. Hello. She don't listen. <laughs> Perfect. Um... But we have so much to do that we, it would actually, I think it would take us longer if we didn't structure it. Like, 100%. Like we, I think it would actually take us longer and we'd be less efficient and successful. I think we also, that the thing for us is we stack things, right? So, again, another tip for you guys is to stack things close to each other. So, you know, if I have something on, say if I've got a call at 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., right? And I offer someone, say, a sales call, I'm doing a consultation call or something like that. I will only offer them the time that is the closest to when my last thing is that I've got or to the next thing. Mm-hmm. So if I've got, say if I had a call at nine already booked in and I finished my other stuff at 4 p.m., I would offer them a call at 4 p.m. or 8.30. Yeah, you're not offering at six. Not six, even though I'm free that time. And I think that's another thing people don't get right is that they don't stack the time. So for us on a Sunday and a Monday, we're like, especially on a Monday, it's like hour this, hour that. We yeah. have an hour to lock for each thing. And it's just like, once I go, I'm... Oh, no. Yeah, turn the vision. <laughs> it's like, but that's, you have to be that way. It's like we said we take it on a new... Um, private mentoring clients and they just they just ran they got no time free and we were going right well our, our call time is going to be monday at 5 p.m and they're like well we can't do monday at 5 p.m we're like right well you've got a month then to get free because that's the time that we've got to do it you have to move it from all the other times you know and one of our first objectives is to get them so they're not as busy right so they have a bit more time free um but that's how you need to start running things. And again, same with clients. So I do my client updates on a Tuesday and I'm from 9 a.m to 6 p.m client updates. It's not like five in the morning and then I'll take a break and then another six and then I'll take a break and do something else and do some content or this. It's just, no, go through and do them all on that time point. And I think a lot of people could do with, with I suppose, their, with their own jobs and with their own things they're doing is, is doing it like that. And I, and I say this with clients as well. It's the same with your food, with your nutrition plan, with your training plans and stuff like that, is that if you know you've got to do, say, your training and you've got to do some meal prep, 
do them together. Like, do your, do your training when you get home, then do your meal prep. Mm -hmm. Don't like, because the second you start moving it all around, it, it's 10 hours split up as 10 single hours will take up more time, and it sounds daft, than doing three blocks of, you know, four, three, and three. Mm -hmm. and it will take more time. And obviously with training, you can't always do that and that sort of stuff, but you can when it comes to planning your food out, when you're doing meal prep, when you're doing your steps, when you're doing all those sorts of things, is to think about it like that rather than trying to... Yeah, trying to sort of do those single hours all split throughout the week because it does make it harder because you've got the prep time and before that you've got 30 minutes drive, 30 minutes yeah. travel, whatever it, it is. It's, it's just thinking about how you can make it work for you. Like, if you've got a step target and you know you know that you're going to the shop, for example, you know you've allotted that time to go to the supermarket. So park the furthest away from the supermarket because you're out anyway. So make it work for you. Rather than going to the supermarket and going, I've got to get my steps in as well later mm. this evening park further from the supermarket and go down every aisle. Like, cool. And then when you've got your supermarket shopping, take, take one bag in at a time. I know it sounds stupid, but you're just, yeah. atta you're just attaching a habit to another habit. And do that all the time. Do that every time. Yes, it's less efficient, but it's going to take you less time because you were already going to be doing that anyway. Yeah. You were already going to be doing that. And now you don't need to go out for a walk in the evening because you've just you've nailed the shop while, with the steps. It's the same thing. We teach, we teach habit stacking all the time. Like... Um, even as simple as filling in our fucking spreadsheets that, that we, we're giving them. I tell, I tell my clients to do it when they're brushing the teeth in the evening because there'll be a lot of clients who leave it to the last minute, to the last day, then they forget it and then they're checked in late and all this crap. And I say, look, it takes you about two minutes to do it on your phone, <clears throat> about two minutes. And you know, well, hopefully you should be brushing your teeth every night, <clears throat> kids. Um, so do it then. Do it, do it in your left hand or right hand. Depends whether you're left or right hand. Do it in your left hand while you're brushing your teeth with your or right. Mix it up. You know, mix it up. Change it. Keep, make keep it the body guessing. Keep yeah. the body guessing. So, um, so yeah, that's what I, I tend to do. Because that's, that's when I know, when I was filling stuff in, that's when I used to do it. Because I knew that, okay, I'm now brushing my teeth, so I can also get this done. Mm. Because we'll get a lot of people with an excuse of, oh, I didn't get time to fill in my spreadsheet this week. What? Well, two minutes. You didn't, mm. get you didn't get two minutes to do it. Yeah. And then you get the, I didn't have time to track my food. Well, if you've eaten food, by definition, you've got time to track food because yeah. you can do it whilst you're eating it. It's not ideal, but you can still do it. And that's the other thing I find, like, I, I've gone, I think, the other way with kind of, like, meal prep a little bit. Like, I used to be really like, oh, no, you don't have to prep all your food and all that sort of stuff, which you don't, and you don't have to put it in Tupperwares and all that sort of thing. But I have moved more towards now back to, you either prep your food or you buy it prepped and you kind of have it so, like, over here now, you can get food. We can get prep food delivered to our house, right? In Dubai, you can, and you can get it in the UK as well. You can buy packs of food, and I used to always be like, "Oh my god, it's a bit expensive." Like in even, England, it is even over here. But <coughs> these ones here are what six pound a go, six fifty, I think. Some of them, some of them depends so, what you get. Yeah, so let's say let's call it six quid there, right? Let's say six quid for 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 a lunch, right? So over a week, if I'm doing Monday to Friday, it's thirty quid for the week. And I would always look at it and be like, "Oh, it's a bit expensive for a bit of lunch. Like I can make it cheaper than that." But then I started getting them and I realised how much time that saves me. And it doesn't, it's not, and again, people laugh and go, oh, it was 15 minutes or whatever, like you're being stupid. But it's also the accountability of knowing that I've got it there and yeah. I've paid for it. So it's like, well, I'm going to eat it. So I'm not going to just have something else or whatever. But it, it takes less mental stress and energy of going, oh, what am I going to have? Oh, I've got no protein. Oh, I've got none of this. Or, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't just have that. There's nothing there. This comes with veggies, carbs, it comes with protein. You know you've got enough in there. And... I've moved more towards now that whole thing of like, if it's saving me time, but also like mental energy thinking about it, it's worth spending money on. And I think in terms of what I would always suggest pe people do is previously I'd have been like, oh, you don't have to spend your Sunday doing food prep. But now I'm like, if an hour on a Sunday of doing food prep would mean that you stay on track and save you the mental stress of worrying about it during the week, make your fucking lunches on Sunday. Yeah cook up a batch of sweet potato, some rice, some chicken, whatever it might be. It can be bro, it can be boring, whatever you fancy it to be, it can be, but make up five portions of it for the week because it makes it so much fucking easier not having to worry about it and stress. Look, every successful diet that, that we've done, we've done that, by the way. Yeah. Whether we wanted to admit it or not, like... I think, it's people, I think it's because people assume that you have to do the meal prep when you go out to a barbecue and stuff. But I'm talking about like when you're Monday, Monday to yeah, Friday, yeah. it's always the same. Yeah. We meal prep all the time. All the time. We always have done. It's this bastardised version, I've said this loads of times, about flexible dieting. <clears throat> and I say to my clients, and there'll be my clients who listen to this as well, and there'll be a lot of you that don't do this, but, like, do this. Um, 
get structured in the week. Have the same breakfast, have the same lunch. Like, have a little bit of variability in your evening meal. Cool, have the same snacks. Then at the weekend, yeah, that's your time to be a little bit more flexible because you know that you can be. That's why we're using flexible dieting. But there comes a point where people are so flexible that they actually have zero structure. Mm. aside from the calorie guidelines or the macro guidelines, which in itself is is not fantastic because the chances of you tracking on the go and hitting exact macros is going to be quite hard to do and probably more stressful and more time-consuming than actually just planning ahead. Um, <clears throat> so I would always encourage almost like a flexible-type meal plan. Know that you're eating similar foods, but you can change them. So it's not like you're that's, on a bro... That's the key thing, isn't it? It's, it's, the, it's the ability <clears throat> to go the next Sunday, well, instead of having chicken again, I want to have fish this time, or instead of wipe, sweet potato, I want to wipe it, or whatever you've got in the house. People go the other way, yeah. and, and the bodybuilders think that we are all for fitting in as much chocolate as you can to macros. That's, that's not what it is. It's the fact that you have the knowledge that there is no good or bad foods, that white fish doesn't thin the skin, that this what? isn't great... Yeah, sorry, what? Huh? That, that this isn't great, you know, it's none of that. It's the fact that, okay, yeah, you can swap your fish for chicken or you don't have to have rice, you can have sweet potato. Or if you do want um, some bread, you can have a couple of wraps or whatever it is. It's knowing that. But mm. <clears throat> get structured with it. So I eat pretty much the same things most days. Again, similar to Dan, I've started to get prepped food brought in. But even when I was dieting in the past, it was still, even though I was making it, yeah. it was still a meal plan. And even though I was making it on the day and I wasn't preparing it in advance, it was still a meal plan. So I was still having egg white omelette for breakfast. And you still, go to, you still go to the, the, I remember you used to go to the supermarket and you buy Same five things. bags of salad, five packs of chicken. Same thing. Was chicken salad. <laughs> it's just that. Same thing. So either way, it's the food prep is either you just, you buy it all freshly made. You, you could, have, uh, in that time, you could have probably done my food shop for me and known yeah. exactly what I was getting. Yeah. Because we used to go and get the same stuff. Yeah. So, and it's just easier for you because then you're not going through the day of going, oh, should I have that or should I do this and trying to juggle your carbs and your fats around. Just people plan your so fucking much time, yeah. don't they, as well, like trying to do the, the maths of all the macros. Oh, I couldn't fit that in. I was trying to squeeze this in. It's like, well, no, Monday through Friday, don't squeeze nothing in. Just yeah. do the same thing. Plan it out on that Sunday. It does make, A, it makes your food shop loads easier because you just go down those aisles you know you need to. Like yeah. I said, we don't worry about, oh, can I fit this in chocolate? No, that just doesn't enter my head Monday through Friday. And yeah. then you go, right, well, for example, you do... Um, I can't remember what it was. I think it was like, we used to do the same things. Breakfast and lunches were, were pretty much the same all, all the time. Yeah. Um, but it means that also as well, it makes your food shopping cheaper because you know, you don't buy any of that excessive crap. You don't buy any stuff you don't yep. use because you know what you're going in for. You do it, you, you go in there, you buy all the food you need and then you make it on that Sunday. It's so easy. And like I said then about the prep food, it's a little bit more expensive per meal, but the, that way of eating is cheaper as well. The amount of times people say to me, oh, like you know, eating out or eating this, it was like eight quid for lunch here and 10 quid for lunch there and M&S on the go. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. You could have bought five lunches for 10 quid if you'd have bought yeah. all the right stuff ahead of time. And people moan about how, you know, healthy food is more expensive and it's really not if you plan ahead of time. It's just that companies make... More make... expensive than Domino's. Yeah. More expensive than that... alcohol. Is it? It's just that companies, they, they prey on the fact they know on the go you're just going to grab something. Like, again, people go, oh, I grabbed the protein bar, it's £2.50. I'm like, mm, it's quite expensive for what it is. Like, mm -hmm. you could make a meal for that. Mm -hmm. And people don't, people go, oh, sweet potato, oh, I don't want a bit expensive for chicken. Mm, it's not, though, is it? Yeah. Like, it's really not. It's just how you view it and how, again, if you buy it prepped like we do, it's that, yes, it is more expensive. <laughs> but again, you know that. And we know that I know, for example, that it's, I'd rather do that than waste two hours food shopping, yeah. extra two hours food shopping. So it's again, it's weighing up that whole thing of what your hour's worth to you. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if, if you take anything away from this, it's, it's have a little look at your weekly routine. Like, get some stuff written down. Plan out what you're doing when you're doing it. The, I think, is it in Atomic Habits? You've read Atomic Habits, haven't you? No, but I'm pretty sure I know the... the yeah, the, because the, everybody quotes it. Yeah. Like I'm sure, I'm sure there was like um, I'm sure it was an atomic habits, but there was there was they bring up this study where there was like three groups. One group were told to the, to go to the gym four times. We were told to go to the gym four times. The second group had a motivational speech, the benefits of the gym, what not going probably to the gym. Instagram, probably Instagram, probably was it? <clears throat> yeah, probably Jim Elton. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, no one's coming. No one's coming. Yeah, yeah great. All right. um, I've seen that before. So love you, Jamie. Um, so yeah, the second group were told, were told, given this motivational speech and told to train four times. And then the third group were actually told to write down when they were going to go and plan it into their week and train four times. And barely anybody trained, obviously, in the first group who just said, go and train four times. It w wasn't very consistent at all. Mm -hmm. And there was actually no real difference between the ones who were training, um, just ad hoc or whatever, and the ones who were giving this motivational speech. It's weird. Yeah. 
this is this is this is why I have a bugbear of, of probably times not come, speeches, probably. Comes, yeah, exactly. But this is why I have a bugbear with like people who say I just need some motivation. Oh, don't get me started on this. Yeah. I'm gonna do I was gonna record a video on this later today. <coughs> you don't need tomorrow. any motivation. And I can't give it you. I fucking hate it. Like Do you know what I hate, right? I'm gonna do fuck, I'm gonna do it now. Fuck it. Remember where you were at. How can you not be motivated to be a fucking healthier version of yourself? I don't understand it. How can you not be motivated to want to live longer, to be stronger, to actually eat food that's actually good for you, that's going to make you live longer, a healthier life? That when you that, that also when you do it, and you've done it for a couple of weeks, and you you are the one saying to us, "I'm fitting in new clothes. I yep. feel great. I feel really confident. I feel fitter." And you you should, but there's there's no attribution like with you with it. It's like. You then revert to back to doing all the things that make you feel shit, which is mad. See, isn't like, it? the thing I don't get about it is like, it's, it's when people say they're motivated to like, oh, you know, I'm not really motivated to go to my work today. I understand that because it's kind of like it can be a bit demoralising, or it can be a bit like doing the same thing over and over again, and it's like, oh, I don't really see any benefit from it other than money, which again, arguably is, is you should be motivated for. But this is literally like your body is your one place you have. Is yours, you can improve upon it. I just don't, I just don't, it's baffling to me how, I get we all have bad days and we don't want to move, we don't want to do anything or whatever, that, that's fine, but you can't, <clears throat> again, you can't rely on being motivated to it. I just don't get it. I don't think anyone's motivated Nobody. to change their physique. It's just, it's just a duty you have. Nobody is motivated. It's not motivating to not eat anything and it's not Ooh. really motivating to go and exercise because what's more motivating is probably to eat pizza and to sit in front of Netflix. That... I have I have more motivation to do that yeah. because that's the easiest thing to do. Of course it is. But yeah. it's the discipline. It's discipline that comes in, not motivation. You can't rely on motivation. Oh, just, so it's, it's, like, like, it's like brushing your teeth. No, it's like it's just good for you. It's discipline. It's just yeah. good for you. Not, it's just yeah. good for you. It's not like when you were a kid. It's just good for you. Yeah. Everyone knows that going out, run, walking around outside, running around is good for you. It's um, yeah. So so when people say to me, "Oh, I need some motivation," it's like, okay, so let's just say I give you the best speech ever. Four days time. That's gone. It's gone. That's gone straight away. So you need more than that motivation. But anyway, there was no difference between those two groups. But yeah. the third group, surprise, surprise, the ones who planned it in, structured it in, near enough all of them hit the four times a week. Yeah. So I'm sure it's from Atomic Habits, but it's, it's teaching the law of, actually, not law, but just um, the value, I guess, and the power of planning something in ahead mm. of time, structuring it, and you are much more likely to do it if you have written it down. So I saw, um, it, was on, it was on an Instagram reel, actually, funnily enough, as we're taking a piss at them. Um, but this guy talked about another study where he was talking about, again, habit change and, and motivation and all this sort of stuff. And again, motivation was basically saying it's fucking pointless. Same old, same old. Yeah. And basically he said that they did a study whereby they took people, I think it was a study or was it a case, it was a case study of a guy who lost over £100 and he worked with someone to do it. And basically they told him to go to the gym and all he had to do when he got to the gym was one set of an exercise in week one. Mm-hmm. He had to just go to the gym, do one set and walk out. And then, and I think it was down there three weeks later. He then might have done another set and added another set onto it. And he basically over a year lost hundred pounds because every time he went, he was just adding a little bit more, a little bit more. But it was more the act of him going mm-hmm. became the habit. Yeah. And once he was there, he was like, well, I might as well do a bit more. Yeah. All he had to do was a set, and he just kept doing more and more and more. And it's this whole thing of like you said, it's making it, it's a plan, and it's just what you do at that time of day. And it's always hard. The first four weeks, it's always hard. It's you still have to think about it. You still have to, oh fuck, I forgot. Oh, oh my god, it's annoying. And over time, it gradually gets easier. So when we're doing this, I know what's going to happen with these coaches. They're going to go, oh, it's a good idea. And then in a week's time, they're going to go, oh, I didn't quite do it this week. And they're going to do what they tell their clients not to do, which is give up straight away. Mm. They're going to be, oh, I couldn't get it perfect. Go on, get so out. There's no point. Get out. I've opened the door, the door for you. I've opened the door. Um, if you don't think you can cut it. Is they, they think they need to be perfect. And they think that they need to be bang on. And it's like, no, you just, no, but you turned up to do your content. Yeah. Whether you did it for an hour or two when you wrote down, you're going to do it for an hour or two, whether it was good or whether you published it or not, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Is that you turned up at that time and you did it. Mm-hmm. And it'll be the next week. It's like these podcasts, we still turn up their shit. No one listens to them. That's it. But people st- we but, still turn up and But every week, we turn up at the same time. Every time. And then we know exactly what's coming next for the next hour, and exactly what's coming next for the next hour. And that's the only way you're going to get through it. And again, whether you're a coach and or this whatever... this will get better, though. This, please stay. Oh, yeah. It will get better. It will get better. But like, the more you do it, so it's going to get better, right? But if, we, if you're waiting for it to be perfect... Yeah. It ain't never going to start. Exactly. Because, well, it's already pretty perfect. Yeah, well, that's what the reviews are saying. That's what, saying. That's what the view count says. So. That's what these people. That's what these people say when they share it to all their friends. Yeah, come on, yeah. come on, guys. Yeah, Give it tag share. us on Instagram on that as well. Yeah, the most perfect podcast you can get. Yeah, so, yeah. It's them saying it at last. Well, at last, yeah. But there you go. But no, and like, and the thing I find funny with coaches, especially, in that, and is that they're very quick to talk to their clients about not needing to be perfect, following a plan, being flexible, but yet their own things that they do. Coaches like are the this, worst for it. They don't, they can't see it. They can't see the fact it's the same thing. Coaches are literally the worst. Honestly, it baffles me. It's because they have 
so many more people to put as a greater priority themselves. I can see how it gets done. We've done it. Hmm. They, it's because they have so many other people to think about. They're training, the nutrition, they're this. They're constantly preaching that they've got less and less time for themselves. But they don't so plan their time. The worst. And they don't plan yeah. their time. No, 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 no. So they go, oh, I've not got time for myself. But then you look back and go, yeah, but all these hours are filled with 20-minute bursts of you doing not a lot. Mm. That you think you're busy. But they clump together, they'd actually be all right. Mm. So this is where, like, and there's two ways of doing this, like, with content creation and stuff. Is people sometimes either do a bit a day or they do it all in one go. But I don't know many people that actually actively plan it in. They just go, I should probably do a post today. Mm. Well, okay. Why don't you plan that in or plan ahead of like what videos you're going to record, what topics you're going to talk about, all this sort of stuff. But they don't. People don't do it. Or they do it for a week and then they go, oh, I can yeah. do it next week. Like, for example, um, ha- Harry, who's uh, our old videographer, those OGs on the, on the YouTube will know Harry. We just got back in touch with him now that we are working together and we've said to him that we want four YouTube videos per month and ten um, real style videos per month. And when do you think we're going to film the ten real style videos? Like, what? Like, we're just going to randomly just pick one when we've got half an hour that suits? No. Ten in a row. We'll do ten in a row. Like, and, it, and, it, and it's that. Like, it, it's that. It's getting ahead of the game. But Dan, I, well, I'm going to say we created a content planner because we both decided to do it, but Dan made it look really cool and did all the best bits of it, I'll be honest. We've both got our strengths, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Yours is, yours is in protected Ukraine. Mine's, um, yeah. <laughs> mine's in Google Sheets. Yeah. Don't worry, Ukraine. <laughs> I got you. Snip, snip, snip. But yeah, so, so we, we have got that, and it was going to retail at £99,999, but we're probably going to give it away for free. Um, or, or £9? Yeah, 9 I think 9 Do you want to give 9 No. 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 Um, no, just, if, just, if, just, if send, want just send me a check in the post, it's fine. You still do checks out here, I'll take a check, 50 quid. Yeah. So thank you. Now, if you want it, in all seriousness, we will give it away for free, won't we? Yeah, we'll give just, it away just for drop, free. Us a, drop us a DM, why not? Drop us a DM. Yeah. Um, and then who knows, we might even get a call and we can help you structure your own week. We're also going to do, we're also going to, well, fuck it, let's just announce it now, why not? We're also going to start doing in March, as of the 1st of March, we're going to allot a certain amount of time in our week to doing a free coaches clinic. So we're going to do quick 15 minute call. Get your STIs tested. Yeah. Basically yeah. Mike's going to swab you uh, yeah. online. He's going to get you to drop your trousers. He's going to have a yeah. little look. A little poke around. He's not qualified in any way, shape or form, but no. that's fine. It needs to be over here. Um, yeah. He just does what he wants. And, yeah. then, and we'll tell you if we think that you've got a problem or not. Yeah. Um, no, no, seriously. We're going to do that equivalent with, with your coaching. Yeah. <laughs> if you need help with your coaching or, you know, you've got problem clients or you've got issues with that, you want to even learn how to structure your week properly or want our recommendations on maybe what to do next in terms of your business if you're a bit stuck, content ideas, whether, you know, all that sort of stuff. There'll be a little bit of background we need from you, obviously, out of your Instagram handle before ahead of time, all this sort of thing. But we're going to start offering 15 minute, I don't want to call them turbo calls because that sounds fucking wanky. Let's go but 20 like, minutes. Let's do 20 minutes. Right, let's 15 is tough, isn't it? 20 minutes. To get everything done. 20 minutes so Not we can do me. three an hour. I can do it 10 times. Oui. Oui. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is, of just basically chatting through. Half an hour now, fucking business. hour. We've doubled it. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Hour. 20 minutes. We'll give you a day of our time. Yeah, free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Structure your days, like. Yeah. Okay? We'll get a whole day. Um, yeah, 20 minutes. There you go, 20 minutes then. All right, and I'll have a 10-minute break after. Yeah. In the next one, yeah. Yeah, okay. We're going to have a lot, two hours. How fucking lucky are these lot? Two oh, no. hours of our time. Yeah. Do you know how much that's worth? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. So, yeah, basically, we're going to do a coach's What is minimum wage? Huh? What is minimum wage? I don't know. Over here, there's nothing. It's a pound. I think. Yeah, pound, yeah. Pound. there is no minimum wage no. over here, is there? That's no. bad, that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what is it in the UK? About eight quid, nine quid? A bit more than that now, I think. Nine quid. It's a living wage now, isn't there, as well? Is so it? They've even said the minimum wage isn't enough to live on. They're giving you a living wage now. So sure cheers, cheers, government. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as if a, a wage exists that they know is too low for you to live on. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Fucking mad, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to do a coach's clinic where yeah, we're just going to basically chat through things with you. You're going to have to come armed with lots of information of why it's going to be a really, really short call because we can't come up with ideas if you've got no, nothing to give us, basically. But yeah, we're going to start offering them. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to need to join our email list, our coach's email list, which we're going to release soon. Um, and the times will get released on that email list. You'll get sent an email probably on a Sunday evening with the times for the next week that are available for us to go over that. And guess what? Then I'll be back to back to back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can book in and we can have a little chat for your your um, your business, I suppose, to a certain degree, but it's going to be more focused on your coaching, you, your life, all those things that we, we may be able to help with. Absolutely. I mean, we're probably getting no one book in, to be fair, but I mean, hey. On the note of clinic, so we... Oh, uh, he loves a clinic. We have this. They're not yours, are they? Uh, no. Good. No, so we have this. Um, do you know what a loom band is? 
I do not. Okay. Uh, maybe, I thought maybe Isabel might have some. Do you know, does she have little rubber kind of like elastic bands that they can make like, they like plait them? I know what you mean, but no, she doesn't. Like little loom bands, little elastic bands. Yeah, um, they make like bracelets and shit. Bracelets and stuff and things yeah. like that. So if people don't know what a loom band is, it's like a, it's like a small elastic band, um, usually bright. bright with you definitely bright wouldn't colour. put them on your penis. No. No. <laughs> definitely not. Well. <laughs> Why do I know where this is going instantly? <laughs> well, who knows? Don't be so presumptuous. So mine, it'd fall off mine. So. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Too That's why I wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was proud to stretch twenty-seven loom bands round my willy, <laughs> and then my bell end burst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I said not to read out your results. Mm. Oh, there look at is. him. <laughs> look at him. All right, Yuri Geller. Look at yeah, him. No, no. Do you know what he looks like? He looks like. You? No, he looks was like. That? Do you remember Men in Black? He looks yeah. like the alien guy. Yeah, his yeah. head grows back. Yeah, that's all. He looks yeah. like that guy. He does. Should we show it to the? Show it to the. YouTubers? I don't have the capability to put it up on like thingy, so no. we'll, so we'll just do this. He does look exactly like the guy in Men in Black. He has his head blown off. You know, and he grows back as alien. Yeah, in, 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 that's him. Yeah, that's him. You'll know the film. So, um, brilliant. Yeah. So I knew where that was going. See how I knew that I knew where that was going as soon as you mentioned it. Well, yeah, because you think, <laughs> right, what type of story do we have? Right, loom bands, small little elastic bands, um, what are they going to do? Well, on this podcast, on it's, his either, ear, on it's, his nose. it's either up the bottom or on the dick, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> One of the two. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so... Oh, God. It starts off um, with a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a plug for loom bands, actually. Loom bands are nothing if not versatile... Yeah, well, cool. that's, that's true. Users have made them into bracelets, belts, badges, and even dresses. Dresses, really? Mm. But adventurous Andrew Finch, what was the full name? That's not them. Finchy. Dis- Finchy. Finchy. Finchy, yeah. Decided to turn the mega popular rubber trinkets into an improvised sex toy. It's not really a sex toy, is it? It's just putting them around his knob. Yeah. Anyway, the escapade, escapade almost cost the unemployed welder his cock. Always unemployed. Yeah. Bored at home. Ready? 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 What the next adjective? Unmarried. <laughs> yeah. Always unmarried. Aren't Always they? unmarried. Always and unemployed. unemployed. Yes. Yeah. Um, Forty-four. Originally bought a pack of loom bands for his ten-year-old niece. He didn't. Oh. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. I, lo- I want to believe that. But when he got them back to his home in Hollyhead, Anglesey, curiosity took hold. I often buy my niece toys, and I think, right. what okay. would right. this? Right. What else can right. I do with this toy? No. Right. Shaggy. Okay. So. So why has he looked at that and never ever looked at an elastic band and thought, hmm, what I can do with that? Yeah. Because you can get small elastic bands. Yeah. No, I, I just... But he's, he's, take, he's taking it back and going, oh, hang on. Yeah. Something that that would be my first thought as well. Yeah. Looking at a loom band. For the niece's birthday present. Yeah. Happy birthday. The shame-faced former Should scout be. leader. Oh. oh, he's one of them. He shouldn't be allowed near animals, then. He's one of them, isn't he? No. Um said, I'd had a bit of cider. Always cider. And what is it about cider that makes people fucking idiots? Always cider. Why yeah. is it cider? It's because it's white lightning, isn't it? White lightning. I'd had a bit of cider and looked at the bag of lean bands. The idea suddenly came into my no. head. No, it doesn't come Put into Put one head. around your gentleman. No, that wouldn't come into anyone's head. No. Nope. Ever. It was a tight fit. All right, big boy. Yeah, but right. it went on. Anyway, like Pringles, I'd popped and I could not stop. To be honest, I was quite chuffed with myself when I realised there was 27 bands around my knob. It looked quite decorative. But, <laughs> <laughs> but then it started to throb. Yeah, it will do. That's yeah, it would. Happens. It would do, yeah. yeah. yeah with growing do. panic, Andrew realised the bands were cutting off circulation to his penis and his bell end was swelling alarm- what, what, alarmingly. What, what did he expect? Yeah. What did he expect? He added, try as I might, I could not get them off. At one point, I tried to... I tried burning them off with a lighter. What the f- Shut up. Well, he's not right now, is he? But of course, the only thing I managed to do was scorch my undershaft. Right. Burning them off with a lighter? Have you not got any scissors. nail clippers? Yeah, scissors, something, anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Little scissors, anything. nail clippers. They go under there, wouldn't they? Yeah. Chop that off. Or take it off the way it came back on. Yeah. Unless it's just the bell end's too swollen. Yeah, unless it's, yeah, it couldn't. It's almost, yeah. Yeah, it couldn't. But, uh, but <laughs> don't put one in the first place, probably. But yeah, but then I got what felt like a blood vessel popping in the tip, and I realised a whole bell end could blow off. Well, no, it's not going to blow off. Well, like off. a rocket. Yeah. Like the, 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 just the helmet moving through the air. 
like a cartoon just left with that. Yeah. Like, the, 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 just in that hole. Yeah. Yeah. They. Uh, I actually went on a stag do with a guy that, that was um, that we named him after the stag do. Um, no shaft mark, because um, he for some reason kept getting his penis out on the night out, As you do. and he had no shaft, <laughs> none, no grippage. It was. It literally just looked like a mushroom. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's when I dialed nine nine nine. The incident. Oh God! Imagine that. I know. Can you imagine the operator? So what have you done? So what? Yeah. Is there any children involved here? Loom bands, what? <laughs> <Was that? laughs> Isn't it? Just in the police or an ambulance? The incident would have remained a secret between Andrew and the medical staff. But he did tell Sunday stuff. But he did tell Sunday stuff. Yeah. Had he told a friend about his agony, he said, I told a bloke down at the pub, always, always good, who asked why I was limping. <laughs> I told the bastard in confidence, but next day it was a talk of Hollyhead. People were jeering at me next morning as I went to get my cider. Always stay away from the cider. Well, yeah, don't, don't go back to the cider place. Why is he always going back to the cider? It was so embarrassing. That's when the newspapers started phoning. I've decided to speak to Sunday Sport. Newspapers, plural. Of course you speak to Sunday Sport. Who was it? Telegraph, was it? Express? Yeah. Guardian. Guardian, yeah. Yeah. No. Wall Street Sunday. Journal. Yeah. Sunday Sport, yeah. <laughs> Sunday... They weren't newspapers. It wasn't plural. Yeah. And if it was plural, why on earth did you pick the Sunday Sport? Yeah, they're just gloating there, aren't they? They're trying to make yeah. the sound. Uh, I decided to speak to Sunday Sport in the hope that I can draw a line on this episode. That's not going to happen, no, is it? That's not. not what you get More people have known. Yeah, everyone knows. And now you're on the podcast. Which yeah, is, and now you're full, fully named. As, we, as we've already established, you've had nearly 15,000 yeah. downloads, so, you know. And that's, that's going to put you in a position where now more people know your name, your face. You now know him as Men in Black Guy. Men in Black Guy. Um, so, yeah, draw a line under the episode and get on with my life. I've not given my niece the loom bands. So they've gone in the bin. Well, thanks for that. Well, that's the most important bit out of all yeah. that information. Just in case you were wondering, I didn't give her the loom band. Oh, no, Andrew, we thought you were going to take them <laughs> off your cock that's <laughs> potentially just about to explode, package them back up and give them to the niece oh. to play with on her fucking birthday. For fuck's sake. Sicko. Yeah. Honestly, these people, well, they walk among us, don't they? You they just don't know. When you walk down the street, there could be someone yeah. like that. Although you'd recognise the name and the face, to be fair, because that's unforgettable. Unforgettable? Yeah. But yeah, there you go. It is. That's why it's important to plan your week out, because you see, if you'd have planned this week properly, you wouldn't have just done that randomly after buying them. And I think we know what the episode's going to be called. There we go. It's going to be planning your week to put Loom Brands around your knob. There you go. Something like that. Easy as that. Easy. Hope you enjoyed that, anyway. Like, so, share, yeah. post uh, on MySpace. Everything like that. Yeah. All the, all the social yeah. media places, please. Yeah, there yeah. was another one. Were you ever subscribed to that one called Mingleville? No. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mingleville. Mingleville, yeah. That's that single, single mingle. Single, single mingle, mingle, yeah. Single mingle, isn't it? Yeah, I think Plenty so. of fish, all, all those. Plenty all of fish, all of that, yeah. All, all that. that going on. Yeah. All, all, those th- all those things, they still exist, don't I? Yeah. I'm not sure. Anyway, have a good one. Catch you later. Bye.